This is Lillian Abe, the Kitgum District Woman Member of Parliament, whose pictures made rounds on social media platforms. She's wearing a UPDF uniform, much as she's not a soldier and has no military background. Recently, a photo of the State Minister for Sports, Peter Oguang, was also widely circulated on social media. The attire he's wearing resembles that of the Elite Special Forces Command. The army has since faced public criticism for sparing the two politicians who subscribe to the ruling National Resistance Movement, yet they have previously arrested civilians for wearing clothes that resemble security forces' uniforms. The issue was a matter of debate in yesterday's plenary session at Parliament. There are several of our supporters who have been in jail for a very long time, three to four years, simply because, as has been alleged, they were found with military stores. Now, what they call military stores is our red berets, which berets have got our mark, People Power and NUP. But the UPDF said that beret looks like our beret for the military and so on. Now, the National Unity Platform wants the army to pardon their supporters days after forgiving a bear. I saw this man who speaks for the UPDF, Kuraije, saying... They have apologized, they have said sorry, and so we have ignored them. That, that cannot work. That is totally unacceptable. You think you'll be adamant and therefore you can't be touched because you are a political player? You won't. One of the would have said, hey, wait a minute, CDF, I'm a member of parliament, what are you talking about? She didn't. But the Bible says she humbled herself and said, I'm sorry. How can you go after that? He would be bewitched. Now, for you to turn around because you have uh, forgiven a lady who said sorry and is a first offender, you want to extend the same to people who have been adamant? It's not applicable. The army has previously warned noob supporters and leaders against wearing red berets because they resemble berets used by the military police. But some party leaders and supporters continue to wear them. If they don't abandon, abandon them, and they have been advised sooner or later. They think they have always capitalized, uh, politicized the matter, and they think that's what uh, protects them. I'm sorry, no. Daniel Kibet, NTV, tonight.